As partners in your pet's health, we are committed to providing you updates on possible novel coronavirus cases in pets. To date, no evidence exists that pets pose a threat to humans during this pandemic. Earlier this month, on June 2nd, the USDA Veterinary Laboratory publicly confirmed the first case of SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus infection in a pet dog in the US. While we had earlier reports of an infection in a dog, a pug named Winston, it actually proved not to be a true infection of the novel coronavirus that causes COVID-19. This recent case is of a German Shepherd in New York who has been confirmed positive for the virus that causes COVID-19. One of the dog's owners also tested positive for the virus, while the other owner showed symptoms prior to the dog. Another dog in the household exhibited no symptoms, but did carry antibodies that suggest possible exposure to the pathogen. We've also reported on a few other rare cases of coronavirus infection in pets. Earlier reports of the infection in the pug named Winston proved to be incorrect. In May, however, two separate coronavirus infections of cats were confirmed in New York, and there was also the first ever recorded pet with the virus, a Pomeranian in Hong Kong, in late February. As previously stated, we see these very few rare cases among so many human cases as really good news. No evidence suggests that pets play an active role in the pandemic or that they are able to transmit the virus to humans. Globally, there are relatively very few cases of SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus infections in pets compared to people. However, it seems that in some rare cases, some animals may be susceptible. Scientists in China also experimentally infected domestic cats with the novel coronavirus. The scientists conducted similar trials with dogs, pigs, chickens, ferrets, and ducks. They found that the virus could replicate in ferrets and cats, but not in any of the other animals. Pets provide us so much love, loyalty, and companionship during an uncertain time. Their contribution to our mental health and well being during the pandemic far outweighs the few rare cases of pet infection, and no evidence suggests that they pose a risk to humans. As partners in your pet's health, we will continue to provide as accurate information as possible as we receive it so that you can stay safe and healthy with your pets.